Josiah Gordon Doc Skurlock, a famous cowboy and stalwart Old West shooter, played an important role as one of the founding members of the Lincoln County War Administration in New Mexico. Skurlock bravely rode alongside notorious outlaws like Billy the Kid. Born on January 11, 1849, in Tallapoosa County, Alabama, Doc Skurlock was the sixth of 11 siblings to Father Norman Skurlock and Esther Ann Brown. While growing up, he briefly attended medical school in New Orleans, Louisiana, where he received his nickname. Remember to hit the like button because it helps us a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to not miss the upcoming interesting videos. Skurlock is described as a man with dark brown hair, brown eyes, light build, 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighing about 150 pounds. His journey as a famous marksman in Mexico begins in a fateful game of cards in a tavern. When an argument broke out between Scarlock and another player, the argument turned to gunfire. In the end, the other player died and Scarlock was wounded, receiving a bullet in his mouth, breaking two of his front teeth before escaping out the back of his neck. Unbelievably, Skurlock survived. In 1871, Skurlock returned to the United States and found work under John Chisholm in Texas. A few years later, Doc's exceptional marksmanship was put to the test when he and cowboy Jack Holt were suddenly ambushed by a group of Indians. Tragically, Holt was killed in the attack while Skurlock sought refuge behind nearby rocks. Alone, Engaged in a fierce gunfight for several hours, he managed to kill the Indian leader. Then, in the dark, Skurlock quickly escaped, walking about 20 miles in search of help. By May 1875, Chisholm had moved his operations to New Mexico, and Skurlock was ready to join the cowboy ranks at the ranch near Roswell. However, in September of the same year, Skurlock experienced another heavy loss, when a close companion fell victim to an Indian attack. Grief-stricken, he goes to Chisholm with the intention of giving up. Unfortunately, Chisholm, not wanting to let him leave, refused to pay him. However, Skurlock remained firm with his decision and managed to secure payment from Chisholm, albeit through the transfer of three horses, two saddles, and a rifle. Considered a thief and pursued by some of Chisholm's men, Skurlock fled to Arizona. However, when he was caught up by the cowboys, he detailed the circumstances that led to his actions, eventually being understood by them and letting him go. While in Arizona, Skurlock ran into Charty Bowder, which led to their joint venture to establish a cheese factory along the Gila River. It is said that they briefly recruited a young man named Billy the Kid. However, the cheese factory's existence was short-lived, prompting Skurlock and Bowder to leave Arizona and venture to Lincoln County, New Mexico. At this new location, they managed to get a farm on credit from Lawrence G. Murphy, an illegal transaction facilitated by the monopoly L. G. Murphy & Co. on September 2, 1876. It was during this period that a serious accident happened. One unlucky day, Skurlock accidentally fired a shot that resulted in the tragic death of his friend, Mike G. Harkins, store manager at Blazer's Mill, owned by John H. Riley. The incident happened while Harkins was examining a pistol. The following month, on October 19, 1876, in Lincoln, New Mexico, Skurlock took his vows to marry Maria Antonia Miguela Herrera. Notably, his closest companion, Charlie Bowder, happened to be married to Maria's sister, cementing their brother-in-law relationship. Skurlock and his wife would go on to raise a family of ten children. During this period, Lincoln County was plagued by aggressive horse and cattle thefts. In response, Skurlock actively served on multiple teams, dedicated to pursuing and bringing to justice the thieves responsible. The severity of the crime was such that some perpetrators suffered their fate at the gallows. In January 1877, Skurlock was in a dilemma when he and his neighbor, George Coe, were arrested by Lincoln County Sheriff William Brady. 
The authorities suspect that they harbor Frank Freeman, a wanted murderer and alleged member of the notorious Jesse Evans gang. For several days, Skurlock and co. are said to have endured brutal torture before regaining their freedom. During these tumultuous times, Skurlock befriended various ranchers in the era, notably John Tunstall and Dick Brewer. Tunstall, along with attorney Alexander McSween, set up a rival business to challenge the exclusive holdings of Murphy and Dolan Commercial and Banking Corporation in Lincoln County. Showing his support, Skurlock publicly challenged Lawrence Murphy and James Dolan, the key figures behind the company. Under the circumstances, fearing to lose control of their profits, Murphy and Dolan began a series of retaliatory efforts. Tragedy struck in February 1878 when John Tunstall was brutally killed, sparking an all-out war in Lincoln County. To combat monopolies, a faction known as the Regulators emerged, with Skurlock playing a key role as one of its founding members. The conflict escalates with the aim of breaking the oppressive control exercised by Murphy and Dolan. During the Battle of Blazer's Mills, on April 4, 1878, Skurlock suffered a gunshot wound to the leg inflicted by Buckshot Roberts and the tragic loss of Dick Brewer, the respected leader of the Regulators. The incessant conflict during the Lincoln County War took the lives of many, including the Regulators' prominent figure, Frank McNabb. After the fall of McNabb, Skurlock took over as the third leader of the Regulators. In the midst of the ongoing conflict, a dramatic change occurred when Sheriff William Brady, known to have ties to Dolan Murphy, was replaced by John Copeland, a McSween supporter. Taking advantage of this transition, Skurlock briefly served as deputy sheriff. The Lincoln County War lasted until November 1878 when the governor intervened, issuing a stern warning and threatening martial law. In an effort to restore peace, the governor extended the pardon to all individuals involved in the Lincoln County War who have not yet faced indictment. It's important to note, however, that this amnesty statement excludes Billy the Kid. This official declaration marked the end of the Lincoln County War, despite the heavy losses of 19 killed in the conflict. After a year had passed, Skurlock decided to give up his gun and move to Texas, seeking solace in a peaceful life. He purposely shies away from the tumultuous and extraordinary episodes of his gunfight-filled past, rarely discussing or reminiscing about those experiences. Over time, Skurlock engaged in a variety of jobs. During the 1880 census in Potter County, Texas, he held the mail station. Besides pursuing his profession, he has a deep interest in classical literature and even delves into the art of poetry. Finally, Doc Skurlock died at the age of 80 of a heart attack in Eastland, Texas. He was interred at Eastland City Cemetery, along with his wife and other family members. Please like this video and share if you find the content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below so as not to miss the upcoming interesting videos. Thanks for watching.